everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about image filters. So images are one of the main things you can do to help your website be on brand and look consistent. So when professional photographers are editing their photos, a lot of times they'll stick to a similar style um, or use a similar, we can call it a recipe when applying filters just to make sure that all the photos from that photo shoot um, kind of go together and look consistent across. Um, and it helps, you know, them brand themselves as they're advertising to other clients and you want to do the same thing on your website you want to make sure that your photos look consistent um, and whether you're using stock photos or getting them from a professional photographer you want to make sure that they don't clash that they go together um, and one of the ways you can do that is by adding image filters to your website However, you might not want them there all the time. Maybe you only want them to apply on hover or maybe you want it to be removed on hover. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So the first thing you're going to do is go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the code listed below this video. And what this code specifically has done is it has applied a gray scale of 100% to all of the images. And then on hover, it set it back to none. So in this case, all of my images, not the background images, but the Squarespace block images will be grayscale. And then on hover, it will remove. And so we can see an example of that down here. So you can see I have two grayscale Squarespace block images. And when I hover over top, the color shows back up. And you can kind of then play and customize this code. Maybe you want them to be colored and then remove um, the color and be grayscale when you hover over top. So you just have to flip these around. So I'm going to take this grayscale and I'm going to put it down here. And then I'm going to set this to none. So that the filter, there's no filter regularly, but on hover, it's going to go to grayscale. Let's take a look at that. And there's lots of other filters that you can play with as well. You can set a blur. Now blur uses uh, pixels instead of a percentage. So it would look like that. You can also set an opacity And this also uses a percentage, and so it's the percent uh, solid that you want it to be on hover. So usually this is a bigger percentage, so maybe I'd want 70% opacity. So you can see it just lightens a little bit as I hover over top and so on. So you can look through the list that I've provided and just play with those. Again, remember if you want it to set the filter all the time and remove on hover, then you're just gonna take this and replace none with the opacity and then change this down here to none. Be sure to keep the um, exclamation point important to be with the hover effect or else your effect will not work. And also be sure to keep the Squarespace block image on top of the hover code um, because CSS cascading style sheet says it reads it from top to bottom. And so if you have this on top, it won't, uh, the effect won't work either. Um, so now you can see it has this opacity and then as I hover over top, the opacity removes. And so that is how you add and remove filters as you hover over top of them on your Squarespace website.